Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my Hidden Treasures series. Gosh, it's been so long. If you don't know what my Hidden Treasures series is or what I'm talking about, it's basically a series that I started with Skyrim where I would explore locations that are unrelated to quests in Bethesda games. I've done it for Fallout 4 as well. I have a whole playlist if you want to check those out for Skyrim and for Fallout 4. The idea is to go to locations that don't have quests tied to them. As such, a lot of people are going to end up missing them because they don't have anything like kind of, you know, uh, uh, motivating them to go there unless they're just happening upon it in the wastes, in the wild wastes. Um, and yeah, to explore everything the location has to offer, finding anything unique, backstories, terminals, things like that, holotapes, etc. We're going to be doing that for Fallout 76, which of course has a lot of potential. I'm currently playing with a level 30 character. This is what I look like. Kind of odd, I know. Uh, and I have been doing things all over. As you guys can see, all of these blue locations I have been to. Um, and I've been all over the entire map, which again is four times bigger than Fallout 4's map. So, uh, this will be the first one and I will be accepting suggestions. Suggestions were hugely, um, uh, helpful to me with my other Hidden Treasure series. Basically, uh, suggestions for locations that are very interesting, but not tied to quests. Something that you happen upon, doesn't have any quest involved with it, and you just go, wow, I can't believe... That I found that. Uh, if you want me to cover that, please feel free to leave it below. Uh, we're going to start off simply, though. We're going to head over to the Moonshiner Shack, which is right outside of Vault 76. So I would imagine a lot of people probably uh, may happen onto this one. But this is non-quest related. And here it is. And we're just going to explore it. Now, it's going to be tricky with the first starting episodes because there's not a lot of information available as to what these locations have to offer. You know, some may say that they're not quest related, but then they are. Some may just not have really anything inside of them. Uh, so it's going to be a little tricky. So I am going to really need to rely on some of those suggestions to help me figure out what's good and what's not that great. So here's the Moonshiner Shack. Let's head inside. We've got a bunch of ticks first and foremost. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting creatures. Let's clear those out. And let's take a look what we've got. So we've got some sort of moonshine distillery situation going on here. And wow, that foul tick has a random stim pack. That's insane. Uh, yeah, we've got some sort of moonshining situation. Two stim packs? Stim packs in this game are like liquid gold, even more so than the previous fallouts. Um, we've got some canned dog food. We've got a toolbox with some caps and a honey jar. We've got mountain honey. Let's take a look at that. That is going to be a Moonshine. Yeah, it gives you Charisma 1, Strength 1, Negative 1 Intelligence, makes sense. Maximum HP plus 25, Water 26%, which is nothing to scoff at. So that's some sort of Honey Moonshine. There was Honey right there, which means yeah, that, yeah, they're actually using the, uh, the um, Honey inside of the Moonshine, or with the Moonshine. Okay, let's take the Glowing Resin. We've got an Industrial Cleaner. My god, we'll take that. Uh, we've got a honeycomb. And yeah, we're looking mainly for unique things. So I don't think mountain honey is unique because we've seen it, but it's kind of a neat little place to find a bunch of it, obviously. We've got a moonshine jug there. And let's see, a chemistry station, which you can, of course, use to scrap items, which we'll go ahead and do based on the items that we've found here. Very cool. All right, is there anything else? We have to be very diligent considering, like I said, there's not that much information online since this game is so new. So we definitely need to be diligent in finding all of the stuff that we want to find. Okay, let's move on. We've got the Raider Braced Limb Mod. All right, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, little mods and things. Mods are going to be a big source. Oh, that is what the strength of this series is going to be, is finding the mods and the plans to build things. Uh, in the past, it was magazines, sort of unique items, unique weapons, things like that. With Fallout 76, it's going to be the mods, it's going to be the plans, uh, and the magazines, amongst other things. Bobbleheads, that sort of thing. So we've got some more honey, or actually, sorry, waste acid over there. And let's see, we've got a cooking station here, and a recipe for swamp tofu soup, which we'll check out right now. So, swamp tofu soup that should be down here somewhere actually 
we have to utilize that first. So we have to go to item and then over to notes. And we go all the way down. Uh, we've got some other stuff too. We've got cooking spit, deep pocketed marine armor limbs, garage door, light metal legs, metal, uh, metal bed, water pump, and then here we go, swamp tofu soup. Disgusting, but let's see what it does. And here it is. Uh, it gives us two rads, 60 HP, 25 health regen, 0.25, 35% food, 26% water. And it's made with boiled water, gourd, salt, swamp plant. Okay. And these should be fixed locations, so you do have to come here to get that recipe. Alright, we have a melon bloom and some vodka there, as well as canned dog food and some corn. We'll take the corn. We've got another section over here. We've got a wooden crate with nothing inside. We've got a weapons workbench. Again, we'll scrap everything. We've got another mod, a Raider Tempered Leg mod. Wonderful, and another industrial cleaner as well. Okay, two mods in a recipe, not bad. Uh, that is going to be, like I said, the main thing that we're looking for. We'll take the combat knife as well. And it looks like that might just be it. we got a couple of tato plants, which are good to grab because then you can plant those in your own base. We've got an anti-freeze bottle and some waste acid. And it looks like, yeah, that might be it for the Moonshiner Shack. A little simple location, but I kind of wanted to start simple to show you guys what I was referring to with this series. What I'm looking for, non-quest related locations that have unique little things like those mods, like those plans, and anything else. Maybe scary, creepy situations, which I know there's going to be uh, an episode coming up uh, for one of those. And just different things like that. So yeah, a simple one to start off with, but... Again, like I said, since the game is very new, um, I will definitely, definitely, definitely be interested in seeing your suggestions for the series. Uh, they could be large locations, they could be small locations, it doesn't really matter. Just want to start off simple and show you guys uh, what I'm really looking for here. This is an example of one that's pretty simple. Um, for instance, one of my favorite ones in Skyrim was Kagrenzel. I won't spoil what happens there, but completely un... Uh, related, non-related to a quest, you go there and something crazy happens. And so I'm really looking for stuff like that. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know and I will shout you out if I used your suggestion. Uh, thank you so much for watching this first inaugural Fallout 76's Hidden Treasures episode. And hopefully we'll get some more interesting ones uh, in the future. Alright, I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.